All right, guys, we are doing the 41st hired request of the current list. And I got about, I don't know, 10 more to go, and I'm trying to get them done as fast as I can so we can take the next hired request list. But this is a great one. John Lennon, a rare recording of the song Woman. And it starts out like this. I'm Sean Cheek, and welcome to my Easy Piano Lessons. We're about to do the part one lesson here. If you want all the lessons, they are already on my website, webpianoteacher.com. Works on all mobile devices, something on there for everyone. I mean, it, it, whatever kind of music you're into, I've been doing this so long, and I've been making video lessons for about 10 years on YouTube, and man, that's a long time. It seems like YouTube is still kind of a new thing, but they're not. You know, 10 years, a decade. Uh, <clears throat> Look me up on Facebook. Just do a Facebook search for webpianoteacher.com. I do have beginner lessons. If you don't know anything, scroll down the main library list to the letter L alphabetically for lesson. There are 50 lessons there to get you started with the basics, and you can go from there. Although some people just jump in and start playing. You can try that too if you want. Got some flats in this one. This is a neat recording because it's not, I guess, an album version. It's a rare recording. You can hear it on YouTube. Just look up John Lennon, Woman, Rare. And it's 5 minutes and 30, 31 seconds long. There's a, some recording of John talking at the beginning of it. And, and uh, that's the version we're doing. And it has more keyboard in it, a keyboard part that's pretty neat. So that's what we're doing. Um, B flat, E flat, A flat in the right hand. We're in the middle of the piano. Um, you can use one three five or one two five, whatever. My pen's gonna hang out on an E flat octave. Let's play this chord three times. One two three. Then we'll resolve because this is a suspended chord. The A flat's not really part of the E flat chord. It's a suspended note until we resolve it to G. B flat E flat G. We'll hold that for a bit because of the dash there. And then three more times. So it's one two three. Left hand, I'm just doing like this, just kind of hanging out on E flat. Now the next measure, bum, 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 bum. Here we have A flat C F. I'm going to use one two four for me. You may want to use one two five or something, depending on your hand. Three times. It's an F minor chord over an E flat bass. And then we go back to the E flat chord, B flat E flat G. Hold it for a bit, and then three more times. So from the beginning, I will say that during that dash there, you need to play another left hand for count three, because it helps the rhythm there as well for there. Now after you do those first two measures, the next two are exactly the same. So there you have it. There you have the intro. And not really that hard, I don't think. Ready, beginning. One, two, three, hold. Bum, bum, bum. One, two, three, hold. Na, 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 na. So this is a rare recording, and we're going to do the keyboard part that's in this rare recording. So I would listen to it on YouTube so you can hear what we're doing. And I give you several options uh, going through it of different ways to play things. Uh, but. A lot of fun, not too hard. Uh, any Beatles stuff or uh, John or Paul, you know, that they have done, their music, musical parts, accompaniments are never really that difficult. They're always really cool, but they're never that difficult to play, and that's the stuff I like, huh? That's not going to be too technically challenging. So, there we have it. See you guys later. Hope you enjoy that. <laughs>